Hi everybody, I'm going to lead you through some exercises, um, but to start with, I want you to find either some weights, these are one pound, um, I wouldn't go any more than two pound weights, but one or two pounds would be great. If you don't have any weights, that's fine. I've got a couple of soup cans here that will work just as well. Water bottles would work. Anything that's, that's equal weight and, and smaller weight would work. So why don't you pause the video right now and I'll get you to go and get those weights. Okay, now that you're back, you can pause anytime. If you're feeling a little winded, slow down. If something hurts, just don't do it. This is just to, to be good exercise. We don't need anybody causing any, anybody any harm. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna just warm up. I want everybody to take your hands and just do circles at the wrist. Just like this, and then you can circle the other way. Open hand, close hand, doesn't matter. Just do some circles. You can rest your arms on the armrests. All right, now I'm gonna get you to make circles with the shoulders. Just bring the shoulders up and forward and then back. Down and back. Just circling at the shoulders. And we'll circle them back. everybody do a little dance move so I want everybody to just warm up if you have some music to listen to it makes the exercises go a lot better so feel free to pause it go find your favorite music so then you can dance along and as we're doing this we'll just kick the leg out with the other leg. Like I said, anytime you want, you can pause this and come back to it. You can, uh, you know, if something hurts, don't do it. Simple as could be. All right, now I want everybody, we'll do a nice little warm up. I want you to put your hands behind your head and then up. And now we'll put a leg out and just do a circle at the, at the ankle. So keep the leg as still as possible and just circle at the ankle. Make a circle with the toes. And go the other way. We wind it on, we'll wind it off. So go the other way with it. Okay, and the other leg, circle with the toes, keeping the leg as still as you can. Not like this, don't circle with the leg, circle with just the ankle, concentrating on that ankle, and the other way. Excellent. Okay, now I want you to lift the right leg again and point the toes and then point them at your nose and point them away and then point them at your nose. Really flex that ankle. And the other leg, the left leg, point those toes away, then point them at your nose. Okay, now let's just lift those knees real high.
All right, now, excuse me a minute while I set my timer. Now, this exercise program is going to raise your heart rate. I want you to, to think about your heart rate, so I want it raised, but not to the point where it's going to cause you problems. So if you feel it's going too fast, just slow down. You can always stop, catch your breath. No problem, you should be, you should be breathing heavy, but not out of breath. You should be able to talk while you're doing an exercise. If you can't, if you're finding too short of breath, just stop. Just slow it all down. You can press pause and start again when you're ready. Okay. So here, picking up your weights, or I'm gonna use the cans. We're going to, everybody ready? And arms up and leg out. Other leg. Another leg. Left leg in. Okay. Next. We're going to, oh, my timer's not gonna work, okay. Everybody take your weights, bending forward slightly. I want you to put your weights under your knees and then lift them straight up, keeping your arms straight. This will be a good exercise if you ever wanna fly south. No, it's an excellent exercise for the shoulders, for the chest. And if you can't get as high as me, that's okay. Just do your best. And the next time, just try to do it a little further. All we never do is our best. See, if I can only get it this far, that's fine. But next time, try to get it this far. All right? Okay, by now I think everybody's shoulders will be feeling that, so we'll, we'll uh, stop that one and we'll, now I want you to take one of your weights, put one down, and I want you to kick out and the arms out from the chest, okay? Let's get going, get that heart rate up. I want you to find a pace where you've got to start breathing a little heavier than normal, but not that you're out of breath. Should be able to have a conversation, but not be breathing quite your normal. And just kick those feet out. Okay. Now uh, you'll be feeling those shoulders a lot right now, so I'm gonna maybe give those a rest. Now I got, I've got my weights, you keep your cans. Actually, I guess I can just keep my cans for this. And now, this is where we're gonna get that heart rate up. So let's just start jogging. And find that pace, and then we're gonna do curls. So you put your, your arms down to here to your knees, and then up to your shoulders. Bending at the elbow. See, I'm bending at the elbow. I'm not doing this, I'm not, I'm just bending at the elbow. And get that jogging going. And find the pace. You might not be going as fast as me, that's okay. As long as you're getting that heart rate up, getting a little shorter of breath, if you find yourself wheezing, if you find yourself you, you, that you can't have a conversation with someone, you can't talk, well then slow it down, it's fine. If you're finding there's too many of these curls, you can always just pause that and keep running. Or maybe your legs are sore and you can't do this, so then just do the curls. See, it's okay. Just modify it however you need. The important thing is just keep moving it. Like this, that's fine too. Just 
just as long as we're getting that cut rate up. Let's burn some calories. Okay, we'll pause that. Now I like my weights better for this one, but you can do this with the cans. You never have to switch. But what I want, I want you to do some punches. Just one, two, one, two. And you can modify this. Maybe the weights are too heavy. You can always just do it without. Or maybe you're really good with this arm, but this arm not so much. Just do it as far as you can, as many times as you can, and then next time try to do it a little further. This is all about building up. And you should, once again, keep that heart rate up. This should keep your heart rate going. You don't have to go as fast as me, just as long as you're breathing a little heavier, but can still have a conversation. All right, let's pause that one for a minute, and we'll, uh, yes, okay, so now I want you keeping your weights. Now, once again, if you find it, the weights are too hard, you can do these all without. You can modify these however you need, but do your best, and we'll work up to weights. So maybe you can only do this without weights. That's fine. Maybe you do this one with weights. Maybe one pound's aren't enough. Maybe you need two. That's up to you. But I want you to make a nice triangle here at the elbow, okay? Nice 90 degrees. And then together at the elbows and wrists. And then bring the shoulder blades right together. And then together at the elbows and wrists. And feel the pinch at the front and at the back. That's where the most work is done. At the front and at the back. So pinch and then pinch. Get those elbows and wrists together if you can. If you only get to here, that's fine, but next time, work to get it a little further. Many of you would be feeling the burn in the shoulders and it's too much, pause. You can pause it at any time, but then come back to it. All right. Now this one, we're gonna get that heart rate up again. We're going to our legs, so we're gonna do some bicycling. So just, if you have arms on your chair, grab a hold of them, and then just bicycle. Yeah, keep that biking going. Where are we biking to? Well, we could bike down the street, tour the neighborhood. I have a friend who biked all the way from Vancouver down to California. We're not going that far today. By now you might be feeling, you know, you're, you're feeling a little sweaty and you're shorter of breath, and that's good, that's what we want. We want that heart rate up. If, it, if something feels wrong, just stop. But if it doesn't, you can keep going. It's all good. If you need a little pause, go ahead, but then start up again. All right, probably feeling those legs quite a bit right now, so we'll pause that and we'll just do, just do some shrugs. Why? I don't know. Just think of it that way, I don't know. If you allow this to happen, and then when somebody asks you a question, I don't know. It's great to have these muscles. Try to get those ears to touch your shoulders. I need longer ears for that, but that's okay. Okay. Now we'll uh, give that a rest and we'll focus on our legs again. So I just want to do, I want you to lift your heels. Actually, I guess I'm back a little further so you can see it. 
I want you to lift those heels off the floor and then touch the down. We're just going to do calf raises. And the calves are a muscle that we walk on all day, so they're very, very strong. They got lots of endurance. You can do this for a long time. Once again, if it hurts, don't do it. If, especially if something hurts on one and not the other, then, then there's actually an injury. If it's too much, you can always pause, take a little break, and then come back. I'll still be here. Switch it up a bit, so we're going to take our toes, lift our toes off the ground, keeping the heels on the floor. This one you'll feel is using the muscles at the front. They're not nearly as big, so this one you might feel more. That's okay, that's to be expected. Okay, I will pause that one. Now I want you to pick up your weights or your cans again. Again, we'll take this position so you get a nice 90 degrees. But this time we're just going to rotate forward and back. So good, this is good for the rotator cuff right here. So forward and back. If you need to pause, pause, but then come back to it quick. We're trying to keep this heart rate up, so the more you can do in a row, the better. You do one exercise right to the next, that's the best. But you know what, if you can't do that, if you need one exercise, then pause, then the next to pause, that's fine too. You know, whatever exercise we can get is better than nothing. And all of this will be building strength and endurance. All right, let's pause that one. Now, if you have a chair with arms, and I should have started with this, that's, that's the best. If not, you'll have to sit this exercise out, but that's fine too. If you have a chair with arms, I want you to lift using as much chair as you can, as much, as much arm as you can, as, as little leg as you can, so that we're working on these triceps. And this will help you be able to get in and out of a chair. So you don't have to stand right up, just, just enough that your arms are straight and then back down. We should be building strength and endurance. You might be feeling those triceps now, that's good. It's good to be feeling them like it's, it's tiring, that's the point. But if, it, if it's real pain, if it hurts, then just stop. Okay, now we gotta work these ab muscles a bit. So I want you to well, concentrate on your ab muscles. Lift that leg and straighten it. And now bring the knee towards your chest. And keep doing that squirt. And you'll feel at each time that knee comes up, you should feel the abs. It's also working out the leg muscles. All right, now the other leg. Bring that knee right up and out. Don't use your hands to bring it up. I did that first one and I shouldn't have because I want to use the abs to bring it up. Concentrate on those ab muscles. Now, in the same vein, we're going to really concentrate on those ab muscles and just bring your knees off the floor. Think about those ab muscles. Now, 
This is not easy as it looks, right? It looks easy, but when you're doing it, you feel it. It's really, and if you're feeling it in here, that's good. It's doing its job. All right. Give those abs a little bit of work. We done with. So now, I want to, we're gonna go for a little jog. Now I'm gonna put a timer on this. Here's my stopwatch. When I say go, we're gonna jog for two minutes. It'll be a light jog for the first minute and 30 seconds. At a minute 30 seconds, I'm gonna say go. We're gonna go as fast as we can, but only for 15 seconds. You can do anything for 15 seconds. Then I will say slow down. Don't stop, but slow down. And you slow it down for the last 15 seconds, okay? Everyone ready? Let's go. arms and legs. Remember, we want to get that heartbeat up. We want to feel that heart beating. Get that heartbeat up. Don't stop, don't you stop. Let's do two minutes. If you're finding it's not enough and it's too easy, you can pick the pace up a little bit. But no need to sprint yet. It's a two minute jog. We're almost in the first minute. And there we are, we got the first minute in. No problem, right? Just one more minute to go. Just keep it moving. Remember, at a minute 30, I'm gonna say go. We'll go as fast as we can. So in 15 seconds, we're gonna pick up the pace. Just keep moving. Just keep it moving. Sorry if I'm distracted. Sorry to keep the time. And okay, go! Fast you can. Fast, 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 fast. Fast, 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 fast. Fast, 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 fast. And okay. Five more seconds, five more, okay, five more. Come on, fast, 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 fast. Okay, slow it down. Slow it down, don't stop, don't you stop. Slow it down. Just keep it moving. Keep moving. And there's two minutes. Very good, everybody. Excellent exercise. So now we're just gonna do a cool down. Cool down, nice stretches, all right? So the first stretch I want you to do I want you to take your, your hand and place it in your lower back. Or if you can't, if that's causing too much, it's okay to put it here at your hip. So either at the hip or at the lower back. If you can get it to the lower back or the hip, then just reach to your elbow and bring it forward. So I'll reach to the elbow and bring it forward. And you should feel that stretch. And just hold it. When you feel a nice stretch, just hold it. Okay, now same on the other side. So you can be on the hip. I'll show you on the hip, or you can do back behind. I'll just show the hip. We just bring it forward. Once you feel that stretch, just hold it. Actually, to feel the stretch, I need to get back behind, but you might just need your hip, so it's fine. Just feel that stretch and hold it. All right, now I want you to take your right leg, place it over your knee, just like this. That in itself might be a stretch, and that's fine. But next time, try to stretch a little further. If you're finding that's not a good stretch, you just press down on this knee until you feel that stretch in that hip, right there. Once you feel that stretch, just hold it. Hold it there.
And you know what? If you, next time, maybe you can only get to here. Next time, do it a little further, just a little further each time. If you stay at this and do this extra, do this workout routine a couple times a week, you'll find you will build up your strength, you will build up your endurance, and you'll also be able to do these stretches better each and every time. There's nothing to lose and a lot to gain, so. Oh. There's my timer. Excellent. Just feel that stretch and hold it. Like I said, if you're not totally, you can do it a little further next time. All right. Let's stretch next. Oh, now we're gonna go. I want you to reach back, touch the back of your neck if you can. Maybe that in itself is a stretch. If so, that's fine. If not, you take the elbow and just feel that stretch. So the back here should be where you're feeling it. And you stretch it on back. Once you feel that stretch, just hold it. Hold that stretch. And shake that in. Take that other hand, bring it back, touch the back of your neck, and then bring that shoulder, bring that elbow up, and feel that stretch. Maybe it's only here you feel that stretch, that's fine, but try to get a little further next time. It's all good. When you feel that stretch, just hold it. Shake that in. I want you to just take your fingers, push them backwards. Feel that stretch. You should feel that stretch all through the hand here. Stretch those fingers in. You should feel some pressure in there, that, that stretching, but not pain. If you're feeling pain, just stop. Just ease it off. Once you feel that stretch, just hold it. And the other one. So let's just do it on the right. We gotta do it on the left. Stretch those fingers back. You can be resting on the arm of the chair. It's all good. Just get that stretch. Feel that stretch. You just hold it. You just make a fist up front and turn it over and back. So all it is, just turning over and back. Keeping the arms straight, turn it over and back. That's going to stretch out all of the muscles in here. Maybe you can only get this far. Maybe you can't get all that way. That's okay, but keep trying. Keep that turn and turn it a little further each time. A little further each and every time. Nice ballistic stretch. Okay. Do the other arm. Do it to one or do the other. Like I said, maybe you only get this far. That's fine. But keep trying to bring that arm around and get that stretch in. I want you to come up to the edge of your chair, reach down towards touching your toes. So come touch your knee, reach down, touch here at your shin. Maybe that's as far as you go. If you feel the stretch, stop. That's fine. Maybe you need a little more. Maybe you can touch your ankle. If you feel the stretch there, stop. Maybe you can touch your toe. That's great. Once you feel that stretch, keeping the leg straight, keep that knee down. Once you feel that stretch, just hold it.
And like any stretch, you know what? If you do as much as you can at this moment, and tomorrow, try just a little bit more. Just a little further. It'll work great. Okay, now we're gonna do the other one. Maybe you only reach your knee. That's fine. But tomorrow, try to get a little further. But once you feel that stretch, maybe you get to your ankle. Once you feel that stretch, hold it. Keeping that knee straight. Don't bend, keep it straight. I'd rather you be here and have it straight than here and have it bent. Once you're there, hold it. All right, everyone. Those are my exercises for today. I hope you enjoyed them. And feel free to come back, do this two, three times a week. It'll help you stay in shape and get into even better shape.